and welcome back to another rice quarter video. Hey. And so I've been wanting to try this rice quarter video, or just rice water, since like forever. But uh, I don't know, I never tried it. But now I'm gonna try it, because we're on quarantine. I, that's why, that's why I never. Anyway, uh, so I'm not gonna show you how to make the rice water. Just look at, let me see, what's her name? Her name is Isabella DeMarco. Just watch her video. I made it exactly like she says to make it. And the rice water I have has been fermenting for two weeks. Let me go get it. And of course my husband decides to vacuum right now because why not, why not? So anyway, here's the rice water. It looks like some lemon juice. Some really good lemon juice. I'm looking in there. It don't smell bad. This smells like grapefruit. Like 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 a like a liquor grapefruit. <laughs> this is going in my hair. So I want to be, of course, accurate and check in length. And as y'all can see, I got some gray hair. Ain't it pretty? Oh gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm only 28. Mm. And right here, I've got some postpartum shedding. Oh, they were so nice and luscious while I was pregnant. And now they're just gone. Gone, gone, gone. Oh, well. So anyway, so to get this as accurate as I can, we are going to section off my hair and go from there. Uh, I had box braids with my real hair. I left those in for about two weeks and I enjoyed them because they were a little maintenance and I didn't have to do nothing with them. So we're just gonna do that. So first things first is I'm going to wash my hair a little bit because I use grease on my <laughs> hair to keep the moisture in and it makes my hair so soft and lovely. <sighs> I'm gonna wash my hair first. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with washed hair and I figured if I wash it, it'll open up the cuticles with the heat because it's not cold, but it's not warm. So I wanted to penetrate all that good stuff and affect my hair in the right way. So next, uh, we're going to do the rice water. Does this really work? Ooh, ooh. It's like making a bubbling noise. I don't know if you can hear it. Ah. Okay. Here we go. Oh my God, how could I forget? Let's measure my hair before we do it. And I will put, Um, I think I'm going to do two braids up here and then one braid over here and one braid over here. And I'll keep those in for two weeks to see, um, just keep it simple and the measurements relatively accurate. So, oops. brush it out a little bit. That's how long the front is. And my front took forever to grow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna brush it up this way. Don't judge me on my rule, y'all. <laughs> Can y'all see that? So I'm gonna say 15 and a half. Hey. Let's uh, measure this side.
looks like 15. So we're going to do the other side. Well, the backs. And measure and you know what I'm trying to say. I am not good at multitasking. all the time and I will say that in the girl's video she says that they use fresh spring water I have not found sp fresh spring water but I'm going to go look for some I know there's like a natural spring around here where I live so I'm probably gonna try and get some from there <sighs> but in the meantime I'll use just regular tap water unfortunately so in the Y'all Women video, it looks like they just use the rice water for shampoo and conditioning and all that. And they leave it in for, I think they said 15 to 30 minutes. I want to leave it in for 30 minutes. And so my challenge is to not use shampoo or, or conditioner <laughs> for the next few days. I saw some video, I forgot the girl's name, but they she basically said that water is the best hydrator to keep your hair hydrated so I'm just going to use water like I said I'm going to try and find that natural spring water to keep my hair hydrated spritz it I think I'm gonna do like every night and not use any product on my hair and see how well that goes over <laughs> so let's get into washing okay just real quick we're gonna show you where we get the spring water from not here but they fix it up to right here. Just fill it up, shake it. And that's about it. to let it sit for a little bit and got my trusty uh, plastic bag It wasn't slimy like some people said, and it didn't smell too bad. It smelled like uh, like um, pickles and uh, grapefruit. <laughs> Two of my favorite things, so can't go wrong. Do I want to smell like that all the time? No, but it's not bad. It's really not bad for two weeks. My next batch, I made two at two jarfuls 
at one time. So this is two weeks and then the next two weeks, it'll be a month fermenting for the other batch. So we'll see if that makes any difference in how it feels on the hair. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. It does feel nice. It's, it's actually really tall. Who knew? Ooh, I think I like this. Now I'm just gonna braid up my hair. A little block, block, bleh, block. Oh my god. Box braids like these, and rubber band ends. They stay out of the way and not get damaged. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Oh, no, I'm gonna rinse out my hair first. And then I'll see you guys in two weeks. All right, bye. Hello and welcome back. It has been a month, a whole month of washing my hair with just rice water and uh, conditioning it with just regular spring water. <laughs> so pretty much uh, absolutely no products in my hair for a whole month. My hair is starting. It's thriving. I love it and I will continue to do this to the end of the year. I do have a lot of products but I mean I might just get rid of them. We'll see. See how it ends at the end of the year. But as you can see my hair this is old right now by the way. It's, 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 it's looking it's looking good. It's a little dry because I haven't refreshed it because it's right out and I'll just lose. Anyway wash day will be in a few days. Probably refresh it tomorrow or something. This is what it looks like. I'm loving it, y'all. <laughs> um, I'll show in the clips uh, the length check for these braids that I had in the front and in the back. Also, my problem area. You can see, I'll do it before and after the picture, but this is my postpartum bowling spot. It does look like it's getting better. It's not 100%. It's not where I want it to be. But yeah, so the only problem I did have, and I think this is my own fault because I didn't trim it before, I had those little, little tiny breakages. They look like little eyelashes in the sink every time I uh, brushed my hair while it was wet. So I went ahead and cut a little bit. I feel like my hair's out here for it, so I'm not complaining. Yeah. It's not too oily. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I wash it. Or, uh, just, you know, moisturize it, I guess, with the water. Yeah, look at, look at y'all, look. It's so long and fluffy. And I did straighten it one time, and I didn't use any products, and it turned out okay it was really <laughs> it was thick it I feel like I don't know if it's like the coating from the rice water or what but it feels like my hair got thicker and then when I straightened it it felt super thick and it was hot and it didn't last very long but it was it was nice and my curl pattern came back so maybe we don't need heat protectants who's to say maybe for my hair that's okay So yeah, I'm gonna use this till the end of the year. Mm -hmm.
and I'll keep you guys updated. Hey, do it. All right, bye.